What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I've been doing this mini series where I show you guys how to farm and why you should farm uh, some of my favorite dungeon farms. And the reason why I'm doing it now, again, because I've done it for years now, is because there's a lot of new viewers watching my channel. So I figured the people who see it in the title and the thumbnail, uh, something about, let's say, uh, Wailing Caverns, and they already know everything about it. They can just avoid clicking on it. But if you're relatively new and you're one of the people that always ask me when I'm live streaming and doing these farms, like, why am I doing it? Uh, what am I aiming for? How much gold is it making me? Then uh, welcome in and uh, sit down. And I'm going to take you through, uh, in this video, RFK. So RFK is right next to um, RFD. So if you go to Toss Needles, you can see RFD here. And right next to it, you have RFK and they have completely different loot tables. So RFK is usually better for filling up the auction house uh, because you get a ton of like just random items that tends to sell. While RFD has uh, more unique items and some of the more expensive are set, but uh, you also, uh, you're also gonna farm those items more efficiently than uh, five man though. But both dungeons, are really really good so i'm going to take you guys through the dungeon and how i farm it and i'm doing that on my warrior it doesn't really matter what class you do this uh specific dungeon on and the reason why it doesn't matter is because it's a very fast dungeon to run through so if i bring my speed set to druid through the dungeon and i do one run in like three minutes i'm uh, gonna be done with all the 10 runs in uh, half an hour and I'm going to have to wait another half an hour before I can actually uh, like do any more dungeons because I'm going to be locked out of dungeons. So right here is the first uh, chest spawn. This one right here. Uh, you should bring a rogue or a class with a profession that allows you to uh, open up chests because you can make a lot of gold with the chest. They have a way higher chance of giving green items and blue items. So... This spot right here, another location where you could get a chest. So make sure you check that one out as well. And uh, we definitely want to go both sides, killing all the mobs in this dungeon, since it is such a short dungeon. So we're killing the boss right here. And pro tip is to just jump on this vine and then do the jump over to this boss. And right next to this boss, there's also a potential chest spawn. So look out for that one. It can be kind of sneaky. Then we're gonna, some people get stuck in these trap wires because it's gonna spawn additional mobs. So you can do that if you want to. I just feel like I'm, I'm losing if I step in traps. You're not meant to step in traps, right? So I never do it because I'm very strange that way. And then we wanna keep on going, killing these uh, guys right here, this boss. And then this uh, pack right here. And this is another location of a possible chest spawn right here. So that one, I skipped that one actually for like a year before uh, some people uh, in my Twitch chat told me that there could be a spawn point right there for a chest. So now I always check it. Then right behind this boss, or it's not really a boss, but this big guy, there's also a chest spawn. Make sure you pick that one up. See, two green items. None of them had any value, but you never know. You could get two really good green items uh, or a blue item. And then we want to step over to the bats. Always kill all of the bats. They can drop all the items that all the other guys can drop as well. So make sure you get those down. I don't personally skin the bats. Some people do, but they do it because uh, the leather that you can obtain is worth a lot of gold in the realm. On my realm, it's pretty much worthless. So uh, I don't want to spend time skinning the guys. Really don't. Then we kill this bat guy. And a lot of people step into this place as well. To, to kill these uh, extra uh, these extra pigs, but as you can see, they don't drop anything, so you might just skip that right away. Don't do it. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna kill the, the froggy boys. And the cool thing about the frog boss, like this guy, it's a rare elite, but he's always up. 100% chance of this guy being up. And he can drop, he drops a guaranteed blue item, or a battle pet. So some of the blue items are actually really good. Let's see what we get. Yeah, of course, I get the shitty battle pet. That's the worst one. But you can get like the Holy Shroud or the Black Knight, which is a sword. And those are very good items, actually. And then you kill the last boss right here. And you're 
pretty much done with the dungeon. So now we're going to talk about what items you should be looking for. But before we do so, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the zero to 10 million gold guide. And uh, make sure if you want to buy it, if you haven't already, that you type the code Shadowlands and you're going to get 50% off the purchase. And this is a book that I've been updating for like half a year now. And I'm going to keep on doing constant updates. So uh, whenever the next expansion comes along, I'm going to update the book. So uh, the book is always relevant. And um, the items, as I said in the beginning, it's a way different loot table than RFD is. And I'm going to post all of these items that I list right now down below in the description as well, in case you can't understand what I'm saying due to my accent. But the unique items that you're looking for is the Plains Ring, the Wolf Claw Gloves, the Pugilist Bracers, the Starfall, Starfaller, I believe it's called, the Black Knight, the Holy Shroud. And then there's a couple of more um, items as well, blue items. And some of them are really bad, but that's like some of the, the main items, uh, blue items you're going to get from uh, RFK. And if you can think of anyone that I haven't mentioned, then uh, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section to help everyone out. And as far as the green items were, is that's normally where you make the uh, the majority of your gold, the greens. Uh, we're looking for items like the saltstone set. So that's the only thing that's similar to RFD. You can get some saltstone items in here, but you can't get all of them. So uh, don't expect to get all the saltstone items in this place, but you can get some of them. And then you can get the resilient set, the headhunter set, the ghost walker set, the symbolic set, the spiked chain and slayer, which is uh, really good. You can get Pathfinder, Raincaller, Marauder, and the Trickster set. So, obviously, when I say these sets, it's because uh, some items in the sets are going to be good, some are going to be bad, right? Like, you're going to have, uh, let's say, the Slayer set, where you have the Slayer boots, the Slayer legs, the Slayer chest, which is really good. But you might get, like, the Slayer belt that sucks. However, even though the legs are 10,000 gold and the gloves are... 200 gold it's worth to post up the gloves as well because people want to complete the entire set and there's so many people using the add on all the things so they want to collect every single item so whenever i know that i have like a set for the the, uh, the chest and the legs and sometimes the shoulders sell really well i always post the other items too because usually when somebody buys the chest or the legs they want to buy all the other pieces as well to complete that set uh, but that was pretty much it for the items that you can obtain in RFK. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave feedback if you still enjoy me doing this series. I understand that some of you guys have been watching me for years and you already know all of this. But this is not meant for you. This is meant for all the people that started to follow me in like Classic WoW or Shadowlands uh, or now recently. So also make sure to uh, press the like button if you enjoy the video. It really helps me out as a content creator. And uh, I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.